Hello once again, and if you don't know already, I'm Scott Florence, and just now I'm going to be explaining what particle wave duality is. And this is due to a request by PZ Bold, which I'm most likely saying completely incorrectly. Sudden change of suit, whiteboard, and lighting, because it's the next day. Okay then, so particle wave duality. As the name suggests, it's when a particle acts like a wave, or when a wave acts like a particle. And while explaining this, I'm going to start off by talking about particles acting like a wave, in order to explain PZ Bold's question. And the way that I can explain this is by explaining Young's double split experiment, which I've kind of explained in this video. Imagine that there are two slits which you're firing particles at, slits like those shaded regions on the board. Now according to classical mechanics, which is what we experience on a day-to-day -day basis, what would happen is the particles that you're firing at the slits would land anywhere in two slit-shaped areas on a wall behind it. Meaning that if you fired enough particles up and down the slits, then eventually you would see that the places that it landed were slit areas on the wall behind. But according to quantum mechanics there is an interference pattern and this interference pattern is because of the particles acting like waves. This interference pattern is many streaks of places that the particles have landed covering a much larger area including straight down the center between the slits. And for any of you who want to know the maths behind it, the equation that's generally used for this is n lambda equals d sine theta, where d is the distance between the slits and lambda is the wavelength of the particle, etc, uh, etc. Et and yes, the particle does have a wavelength. But taking a bit of a step back here, why is this particle acting like a wave rather than acting like a classical object? And the reason for that is the uncertainty involved in quantum mechanics. The particles don't exist in definitive locations, which allows things like Heisenberg's uncertainty principle to exist. The particles exist more like in probability fields, and the way I think of it is that probability field to make that particle behave like a wave. Because much like a standard wave has peaks and troughs, these waves have places that the particle is more likely to be in and less likely to be in, at, or impossible to be at. And so long as the width of the slits is similar to the size of the wavelength of the particle, then the particle will diffract through it, causing this interference pattern. And you may be able to see how we can answer Pizzabold's question from here now, because it's not actually the particle that's acting like the wave, it's the probability field. And this probability field isn't causing the particle to go in both directions, it's just showing the chances of the particles to be in whatever location. And after it goes through the slits, the probabilities add to each other, which causes this interference pattern. So it's not specifically the particle going in two places at once. It's the particle has chances of going in different places at the same time. There are two main theories about this probability field that I'm aware of. Uh, one of which is Copenhagen's interpretation, and the other of which is the many worlds theory. And these theories have been thought up because of what happens when we observe the particle at different points. Because when we observe the particle, and when I say observe I mean detect in some way, the particle is no longer behaving like a wave, it's behaving like a particle again. And unless I have explained that in the past, perhaps I'll explain it in a future video. KKM121, I was aiming to do that video that you suggested in the middle of the week because I figured it wouldn't take me very much time and I recorded it but then I deleted it because it had turned into a rant focusing primarily on government funding for space missions but that's all for now and thanks for watching and thanks even more for making it all the way to the end of this video unless you skipped ahead to see the bloopers that are about to happen I've already recorded next week's video but I've not got round to editing so it will not be out until next Sunday KKM121 I'll try and upload that video sometime next week but we'll have to wait and see hopefully I won't do a rant in it again but subscribes likes and comments are always appreciated and I do aim to respond to it every comment but that's all for now so I will see you next week the equation that is used for this is n lambda equals Dean's okay imagine that there are two slits in the wall I can draw this on the whiteboard but anyway words um, <clears throat> and uh, yes that because much like a because much like a wave that we're aware of because much like a ah yes and you may be able to see where we can and we, it's behaving like a particle again. But, I've already...